this the second company? Yes, sir. All of us? Yes, sir. We had 150 men, but this is all that came back yesterday. But now they're going to give us enough to make 150 again. How old are you? 16. gonna be a real war again. Paul, how's old Paul? Here I am. You know, the second company's getting hard to find. Nobody seemed to know where you were. I'm glad you found it. I guess I don't get much of this. There used to be some food in the sawdust. Now it's all sawdust. No joke, either. Eat you up inside. This doesn't look much like the old second company. The replacements are all like that. Not even old enough to carry a pack. All they know how to do is die. I guess some of the old timers are here yet. Paul, they're trying to invent something to kill me right now. Where's Westus? Messenger dog was wounded. He went out to get it. Is it true about the armistice, Paul? Doesn't look that way back there. You mean they want us to go on fighting? That's what they say. They're crazy. Germany will be empty pretty soon. Where's... Where's Datering? He got homesick. You remember about the cherry blossom? I guess he never got over that. He started out one night to go home and help his wife with the farm. They got him behind the lines, and we never heard of him since. He was just homesick, but probably they couldn't see it that way. Where's Cat? Is he? <laughs> Not Cat. If he were out, the war would be over. You remember what he always says. They're saving him for the last. Where is he? He's out looking for food, trying to collect something to make soup with. Which way? Down the road about two miles that way. I'll see you later. How's the side? Oh, it's all right now. It's fine. Have any luck? No. The general staff's been over this country with a rake. <laughs> Let's sit down there. Tell me, Paul. How's it at home? Have a good leave? In spots. What's the matter? Oh, I'm no good for back there anymore, Cat. None of us are. We've been in this too long. The young men thought I was a coward because I told them that we learned that death is stronger than duty one's country. The old men said, go on, push on to Paris. My father even wanted me to wear my uniform around. <laughs> it's not home back there anymore. 
All I could think of was I'd like to get back and see Cat again. You're all I've got left, Cat. I'm not much to have left. I missed you, Paul. At least we know what it's all about out here. There are no lies here. Push on to Paris. You ought to see what they've got on the other side. They eat white bread over there. They've got dozens of airplanes to all one. And tanks that'll go over anything. What have we got left? Guns so worn they drop shells on our own men. No food, no ammunition, no officers. Push on to Paris. So that's the way they talk back there. <laughs> I guess we'd better be going. <laughs> 